So we want to create a custom conversion source in any track, uh, and sometimes it can be a little complex. Uh, so in this video, I'll show you how you can easily figure out what are the parameters that you will need uh, to create your custom conversions and how to find them and how to place them. So uh, let's say that uh, we want to integrate impact, um, which is already integrated with any track, but let's say we want to integrate them as a custom uh, network. Uh, so first, this is a link from impact that promotes the brand HubSpot. Impact has three sub ID parameters where any track can pass the click ID uh, value, which is uh, what we use to track the conversions coming from the networks. So uh, that's the placeholder that we add to the links, and that's the sub ID that Impact can work with. So when you have that link on uh, your website with that placeholder, any track will automatically uh, substitute the placeholder with the click ID value. When the click ID value is set and someone clicks on that link, the value goes into impact system and then impact can send us back that click ID value into the post back. Okay, that you can see here that a very simplified post back URL. Okay, but that's how the post back from uh, impact works. Now, uh, we're gonna add a new integration. Uh, search for custom, and here we're gonna see custom post back. Okay, we're gonna need to put the login. And here is where it's usually complicated, okay? So where we send the click ID into the sub ID parameter, uh, you know, here that, that example is sub one. Okay, so let's find out what impact can use here for the click ID. So here we are in the event postback notifications. That's how they call it at impact. And I'm gonna search for the sub ID parameters that I can send into um, into uh, impact and what they can send in the post back. So here, before I can put my URL, okay, I'm gonna go here and select the different click ID or sub ID parameters. So I select this and I go here in my sub ID, click ID placeholder and I paste it. Okay, I make sure that I don't have any space around it uh, because that you know, will uh, corrupt the data. The permission Okay, so what do I want as a commission? Uh, I'm gonna look into what we have here and what do I have? I have the payout, okay? So I'm taking the payout and I'm adding here, adding the payout again. I'm looking at the parameter and removing the spaces. Transaction ID, this is very useful, uh, you know, for deduplication. So uh, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna take the action ID, which I think is uh, what they use as the transaction ID. Um, and that's a unique uh, parameter. Um, what else do we have here? Um, currency, event currency, event date, uh, and so on. So we're gonna see a few more parameters that could be useful. So here I'm putting the action ID and I remove the space and the brand name. So that's very interesting because if you promote multiple brands from impact, uh, having the brand name uh, in the post back will allow you to get that information into your integ into any track first and then into your uh, integrations uh, like Google Ads and Google Analytics and so on. Um, here, so we're gonna select the uh, company name which I think is what is uh, really relevant in that case, uh, and add it here, okay? And, uh, and so the post back here is very simplified, but if you want, uh, you can add a lot more parameters 
uh, that are available in the standard parameter section uh, that you can uh, get uh, in the knowledge base. Uh, and once I've got my postback uh, settings set, I can save and I get my postback URL with all the details that I need. I click on that, I go into my impact account and I paste it and I'm good to go. I just leave that as is and save. And now every time a conversion will come back, I'll be able to see it in my account. Now you see that as uh, I called it without any parameters or anything, but now you can see that, okay, any track receives it, but there is no value in the click ID, so it's useless for us, so we don't reuse it. And now, imagine I just created uh, a descent uh, lead to HubSpot and uh, that guy already made a purchase of the annual plan and now I've got my conversion coming back with a transact take conversion ID or transaction ID, uh, you know, the value of the uh, payout, my, uh, the name of my campaign and the click ID generated by any track. So at runtime, it will look like something like this. Okay, so that was the take one, uh, but it looks like something like this. And uh, you, know, you can see that in my browser. Okay, and that's about it. Uh, so this is uh, for HubSpot. Obviously, every other uh, system has uh, different, uh, call it uh, placeholders and sub IDs. So that's your job to actually find them, but in theory, they are not hiding this. So you should be able to find them easily. Thank you, and good luck with the tracking, and let us know if you need anything.